Hello YouTubers. Right. <laughs> In my last video I was talking about the ZI8 and how disappointed I was with it and basically that I'd had enough of pocket HD camcorders and unless someone actually said that I could have one to review that I wouldn't bother. Well, I have managed <laughs> to get my hands on a Panasonic TA1. Oh yes. In my last video I did mention that I would like to get older one of these and try them out and that I was actually thinking about getting one of these to replace the ZI8. Well, I've managed to get hold of one, so, and here she is, in all her splendour. I'm charging it at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it through its paces like I normally do. What I've decided to do is concentrate on the camera itself. So I'll do videos of, you know, every uh, setting, do pictures in every setting, do a sort of walk around and all that sort of stuff. It is getting dark outside now, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a 720p low light comparison video between the TA1 and the Kodak PlaySport. The reason I've chose the Kodak PlaySport because as far as you guys have said, the PlaySport does the better low light situation out of the cameras that I've got. So I decided that I would do the um, low light using the, pl the play sport. Also another reason for doing that is because as far as you guys are concerned the play sport is the one out of my cameras that I think you guys are most interested in and that quite a lot of you have. So I thought you know if I compare the two in the low light situation then it will give you some kind of idea of what the Panasonic can do. Now, two things on this camera that interested me. One is the, I don't know if you can see it. Let's have a look. One, it says Skype. So it's got a um, webcam capability on it. Also is this. Sting. <laughs> it's got a flash. Ah. Oh yes. That was one of the major reasons that I thought about looking at this because of the flash. So basically what I'm going to do is do various different videos to test out the flash, test out the webcam, all that sort of stuff, the usual stuff that I do, and then I'll do a final thoughts video um, to give you guys a sort of idea of what I think of it. So far, I mean I haven't done that many tests with it so far, but from what I've seen of it, it reminds me a lot of the Flip Ultra HD. And... Uh, from what I've seen of it so far, I have been impressed with it. Now, as far as um, my other cameras are concerned, it doesn't mean that I'm, you know, forgetting about the Kodak because I'm not, because I still like my Kodaks. Um, but I just thought this would be a welcome addition to the ensemble that I have at the moment. Another reason why I sort of was more interested in it was that I I was having a look on YouTube recently and I came across this sort of promotional video that Panasonic are doing and they're following this magician called Dynamo and basically what they're going to be doing is filming him using the TA1 and I actually saw the first video that he did um, and it looks, you know, the TA1 looks like it does quite a good job so that was a, another reason for me sort of getting a bit more interested in it I'll put the link to his videos um, in the description box so you guys can have a look for yourselves. But as as of for now, I'm just going to be getting stuck into the tests um, so that you guys can see for yourselves um, what the TA1 can do. I'm going to get on with the tests and it's going to be interesting to see how it compares to the play sport. Right, okay, that's enough from me um, and I'll do some more tests later on. Okay then, bye-bye.